this is the one of the saddest stories with the best endings, okay? And I'll explain you how. So basically, a few days ago, Mr. Kev 60 FPS here, okay? He messaged me on Discord asking if I want to buy his knife. And I think like a week ago, he tuned in, in my chat and he told me that he unboxed that M9 Crimson Web minimal wear, okay? And those bad boys go for around, those bad boys go for around 1.2k on buff, okay? Which is a pretty, pretty juicy, expensive knife. So yeah, 8.42 p.m. He asked me if I want to buy his knife. At the time, I was outside with my homie. Uh, I was busy. I couldn't, I didn't see his message at all. One hour later, he messaged me, I need help. And he was calling me as well. And then I come back after two hours from the initial message and I write, hello, sorry I was busy. What knife are you selling? And then he replies me with, I get scammed. Going to KMS since this was going to pay my bills. And dude. Oh, he's calling answer. <laughs> Okay, dude. Then he says he gets scammed. He linked me this video. And apparently this video is uh, proof of him getting scammed. I didn't watch the video fully because it's fucking 18 minutes, man. I'm sorry, but, you know, I understand how scams work. But apparently he sold his knife on Facebook to a guy, to his, like, old-time viewer. So Kev is a streamer, I assume, right? Kev, you're a streamer? Well, let me check. Uh... Oh, yeah, look. Kev is, he's in the chat right now. He has 1.5k followers. So he was trying to sell this knife to his old-time viewer, apparently. Look, so he's saying, like, uh, 1.5k loss, going to cry. I was like, dude, you could have waited. I would have bought it off you. And he said he seemed trustworthy. He was an old viewer of mine, turned into a scammer. And then he's like going to, you know, saying bad things. And I know how this feels, chat. If you have seen this video right here, plenty of people have seen this. I get scammed myself as well for a 4.5K live on stream. Thankfully, I also got my money back. But if you watch this video, you can see the true genuine reactions of a person that gets scammed dude, for a lot of money. It's not a good feeling. So yeah, then he just said the guy had like pl plus rep some other stuff, blah, 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 blah. Oh, and he linked his uh, profile, actually. So here's his profile chat. He's currently offline, or not offline, he's private. Before he gets scammed, this guy was uh, not private. He had a public profile. He had written in the description. Actually, I can show you. Hold on. I did my research before the stream. Look, I looked up this guy's profile on webarchive.org. Yeah, so this is how his, how his profile was looking like. Juicer picture, right? He's from Denmark. Buying, selling skins. Has some roles, some other bullshit. And look, he even, he plays the scammed knife in his item showcase is the first item. What a fucking douchebag, dude. What an actual piece of shit. Oh, look, he has like other items. So I'm not sure if they are, they are scanned as well or not, but you know, he had some items beforehand and pretty like legit-ish profile, I would say. After he gets scammed, I basically told him, yeah, that it, it happens. It's ribozo, you know, you just gotta, you'll get through it, okay? It is a lot of money, but it's not worth to harm yourself and do, do bad things to yourself. So Mr. Kev messaged me today, or actually yesterday, yesterday, he messaged me saying, bro, you don't want, want to believe what happened. I busted the guy, the real one, and now I spoke with his mom and getting money. Bro. <laughs> No shot. Imagine how embarrassing that is. And then I said, oh, for real? And then he's like, you know, want to hear the full story? And well, boys, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get Mr. Kev on the call. Apparently, he got his money back. He got a butterfly Doppler back from this guy. I don't know where he got the, uh, the Doppler back, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know how this all happened, but hey, let's call him and let's uh, hear out a story how this all happened. But before we continue, this video is sponsored by Clash.gg, a website that offers many different game modes, has free daily rewards, and many more. There are many ways you can cash out and deposit. One of them being PayPal. By using code PROP, you will receive rakeback awards and 5% deposit bonus. The links will be in the description below. Yo, what's up, dude? Yo, what happened, sir? As you know, it was uh, on Saturday evening. I just came home from work. I saw, like, I would... I'm gonna sell this now Crap, so I get fast stop cash hitting because me, please. I had so many bills to pay. Uh -huh. When you are 27 and own a house and you get a lot of bills and you are the only one with income, you gotta make sure the bills get paid somehow. Yeah, so I understand, I understand. I was in that situation where I went too fast on the market. Like, I asked everyone, do you want to buy this knife? Do you want to buy this knife? I can tell you this. Fuck you, Anomaly. You, you lowballed me. He, wait, yeah. wait, who lowballed? Anomaly. He, oh, Anomaly. <laughs> yeah, he offered me 950 for the knife. Wait, 950. Let me go and buff. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. The cheapest I mean, one like, I he... saw was, uh, it was a minimal wear. Uh, M9 Crimson, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he offer you 85 percent? He offered less than 85 percent for a. What? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so <laughs> I was like, dude, I'm just gonna think about it. But then he offered me 1.1k for both for my 57 case hardened uh -huh. blue gem uh -huh. uh, and the knife. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck, man, fuck no, dude. Yeah, like he literally offered you less than 80 percent for. Yeah, the knife. yeah, 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 yeah. 
And it, I think the knives, they're not that hard to sell. But anyways, my old viewer just came up to me and say, hey, do you want to play a game or two? Uh, sure, why not? Then we started chatting and boom, I asked him if he wanted to buy a knife uh -huh. because he, his inventory was so full. I thought he was, was over 18 years old because he got so much stuff. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, apparently, he was only 16. Oh yeah, by the way, I just uh, looked up the M9 Crimson Web. They actually like sell daily like uh, at least two knives a day they sell. So it's like really easy to sell it for uh, for the 1.2k. It's like actual crime to offer less than 80% for something like that. Sorry. I mean, anyways, I don't give a fuck. I have a better knife now. Then I started to chat with him. Uh, everything went so good. We had so many good games. Uh, yeah. We go back to to 2017 i have known this guy a lot enough to li like trust trust him 2017 yeah 2017 wait, wait so if he's 16 now then uh he was what 10 what the fuck yeah yeah <laughs> exactly he was a good guy i mean he was a good guy but did he ever use his voice or what yeah he, he we used to talk on discord we used to talk on steam we used to play games on like uh, you know this old game called h1, H1 oh H1. yeah h1 yeah, H1. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we used to play there doors every time. We used to have have a good time. I mean, he was then. He did not have any friends, like so. I was like, you know, what kind of guy, you know, trying to be nice to him. Yeah, yeah. He was the nicest kid I have known online but then he turned out to be a scammer like uh, a couple of year, years later yeah that's fucked up okay so how did you find his mother like through his facebook was that well, his, like a re real facebook well, or that you looked at when yeah when i got scammed he just stopped replying to me he blocked me on facebook blocked me everywhere but the fucking idiot used his friend's facebook to scam me oh no way yeah so then his friend came clean to me oh say, he snitched on him yo yeah, because i told his friend i have only done a police report and doing such a crime in finland it's uh, up to 10 years in prison huge huge, huge 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 but that probably got to him. Yeah, and uh, then this is the best part. When that knife was tradable, he was so fucking dumb. So he he thought he could uh, sell the knife without me knowing who he's gonna sell it to. He sold it to a fucking huge Denmark guy that trades a lot. I added him on Steam. I explained everything. I sent him the video. I sent him the evidence. I sent sent him the police report. He insta replied. He got so afraid. So in insta added me back on Steam five minutes later, uh, telling him here's his bank details here's his everything nice here's his full name the guy that bought the skin from the scammer yep. tried to convince the guy first on facebook because he got his full name he got bank details yeah. everything yeah. he first denied it Damn. and after, after, after all that geez. yeah and after five five ten minutes later that he must be he must thought he was pretty much fucked he told him like yeah i scammed this guy and i'm very sorry what can i do so then somehow he added me back we went back and forth where's my money can't you just give my money right now? Can you just refund this guy, the, the knife, and etc.? You know, I'm just gonna tell you this. 16 years old and spending money. How the fuck do you spend 1,000 euros in one like in one hour how the <laughs> fuck do, do you do that like i have no idea man yeah, i don't know maybe he gambled it away or something Who I knows? Mean, bought some fresh shoes maybe i don't know maybe uh i don't know what else can you buy there's plenty of things yeah. you can buy i mean it's so, still uh, a lot but he was then, probably in stress and try to get yeah, rid, of, rid yeah. of the money man wash it and away he, and then he bought a new computer recently mm -hmm. like one week ago when i spoke with his mother he she said to me that she's gonna throw the computer out she's gonna do everything wait wait, wait but ha uh, how did you get to his mother through like facebook friends right yeah so the, the thing is he called me on discord this guy called me on discord after one week he replied to me on steam saying kev we need to talk <laughs> please note there were two people in this call two people scanned me yeah his friend and the actual scammer oh and so the, the the guy that had the facebook right yeah the guy that you saw on facebook yeah, that yeah, yeah. was his friend and the scammer used that facebook to in order to scam me and try uh, to hide it that's crazy though. so wait so, how so did then you get we the... started yeah then we started a call on uh, on discord uh -huh. he started to fucking cry man he started to fucking cry wait like for real actually yeah, crying yeah <laughs> yeah i'm i'm sending him the fucking evidence he's 16 and he started 
starting to cry and this and his friends he started to like say i'm sorry i'm sorry i i have no part of this i'm sorry i'm i'm fucking sorry dude i work at mcdonald's i don't want to anything i'm 14 i don't want anything to do with this and i'm like what the fuck you 14 and the actual scammer is 16 and he can't come forward what the fuck is this shit so you tell me the denmark people like you are mature enough to come forward if you're 14 but if you're 16 you are acting like a 10 year old so wait did he did he just send you the knife back or where did he get the butterfly from no the the, the thing is that he had a knife yeah. like a butterfly knife yeah, yeah. Uh, i can share i can screen share so yeah. this is this is the knife that he sent me he okay. sent me this today so where did he get this because i was looking at his inventory when i was explaining the story he just had like a karambit and some other knife where yeah get this that, shit from uh i don't know that's very um, good. That's better than is that wait, is that better than your M9 or no? Yeah, it my M9 was worth like 1400 on the Steam market. On Buff it's like $50 cheaper, but the phase I think adds a lot of money. It's phase two, I think. Phase one. Oh, it's phase one? Yeah, it's about yeah, it's about the same price as the M9 then, yeah. So yeah, he started to cry fucking a lot. And you know, I thought sorry for this guy. Yeah. And suddenly he used to give me gave me information about his mother. Like Wait, he started wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. He got his mother on this phone call. <laughs> Because I, I said to him, you are like 16 years old. You have your life ahead of you. What the fuck are you going to do? Like, I have your home address. I have your bank details. I have your mother's name. I have everything about you. <laughs> That's cold, man. <laughs> That's yeah, cold. Yeah, so then he's just starting to cry. I'm sorry, mom. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> my, mother said, my mother tells me I'm, I'm going to... She's going to send me to foster. Dude, I don't fucking scare. Once the scammer always a fucking scammer goodbye bitch so yeah at this point he his mother told me he spent about 2k on a brand new pc one week ago yeah but she's gonna throw it out from the window <laughs> and i yeah and i just told her mother because i'm a i'm a you know a parent of my own i just told her mother you know these kids they either they are gonna learn the hard way or the the easy way uh -huh. this went so far so it went the hard way and uh, he can do it he, he can learn from his mistakes i'm just fucking mind blown i got my money back dude yeah that's, that's so, awesome but at this point i'm thinking like should i start another company you know to help people get their items back I because mean, i mean I, dude if you think about it i was faster than the fucking police because if someone gets scammed they're like dude okay dude i love i love i fucking lost it the thing is it is a, like a good idea right it's like a positive thing to do but you get extremely lucky because most yeah, scammers, yeah, I mean, most scammers, I mean, they are from like countries, bro. I don't know, countries that you wouldn't even be able I mean, to access. Yeah, you get yeah, lucky yeah. that he's from like Denmark. He exposed his Facebook. It's just a very stupid scammer. I mean, because yeah, yeah, most yeah. scammers, they have nothing about themselves on the internet. They're as low key as it gets. So it would be hard to do like such investigation. But hey, man, thanks, thanks for hoping on the call, man. Explaining the story, everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sure it was fun for the people in the chat and and for the ones that will see it later on the YouTube. Yeah, so, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue drinking whiskey, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, man. It's what. Oh, uh, cheers, it's, dude. Yeah, it's a, it's a yeah, good cheers. day to drink whiskey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cheers, yeah, man. Cheers, dude. All right, bye, bye, man. Bye, bye. All right, boys, just like that. Don't fuck with Kev, man. Else he gonna come for you. What whiskey is Kev having? Fuck it and ask that. Shit.